this event. Uh, we feel very fortunate to have the opportunity to come and compete. And, um, you know, it's, it's a tough time just because uh, the two guys that are sitting next to me are very special. Young men mean a lot to our program, and uh, they're going to have an opportunity to play down the road. But I know this one stings a little bit, and I just wanted to make sure that Toledo and everybody involved, Bowling Green, the NCAA, uh, we appreciate everything that you've done, and you've, uh, you've really made us feel at home, and we thank you for everything. Okay, if uh, you've got a question, uh, raise your hand, and the gentleman with the microphone will bring it over to you. Like you talked all week about Miami's defense and how they play, and they, they blocked a tremendous amount of shots. Maybe you can answer this, and I can ask the guys the same thing, but what do they do so well to block so many shots, and especially uh, you know, the first 10, 12 minutes of the third period when I don't think they had one on goal? I, you know what, I, I'm a big believer in, in um, guys that end up blocking shots do it because they want to. Um, uh, I'll call it a commitment level. And I'm not, that's not a slight on our guys at all. Um, that's a compliment to Miami and their commitment to defending. Um, and I, I really think it's that simple. Can you guys talk about how hard it was to get, get shots on that, get pucks through the net for a game for Ryan? Yeah, obviously you got to give them uh, a lot of credit. They take a, a lot of pride in blocking those shots, uh, especially on the power play there. Um, you know, we had a lot of good looks, and and those uh, those D men were were blocking everything. It seemed. I think their goalie should uh, give their D men a little tap on the back. They uh, saved them tonight. Coach, uh, just uh, talk about the energy level from your defensemen. Uh, you lost one uh, to, due to the misconduct there. Uh, just kind of, what was the energy level your defensemen gave you tonight? You know what, up until that point, I thought fine, and it was early, and we found a way to, to kill the five-minute major, but uh, I'm also going to say this. You expend a lot of energy when you go down to five, and then when you're you're killing a five-minute major, uh, there, there weren't a lot of whistles during it, so it wasn't broken up. Um, you know, there was uh, extended periods of time where we had to be out there defending, and I, I thought it zapped a little bit of our energy. Coach, obviously on the first two goals, uh, Stefan was kind of uh, in a situation where there was odd man rush. Can you just compare his play tonight to, to obviously his play against Wisconsin last week? Well, I thought he did a great job of rebounding. Uh, you know, when you don't give a guy any run support and stuff for him to win a hockey game, you know, he kept us in and made some saves that he shouldn't. Uh, we gave up a shorthanded goal, which was a three on one at that time, uh, trying to squeeze the opportunity that we had on the power play to try and, and, and get a lead, they would give one up. And, uh, you know, the second one again, you know, back check, guy left alone in front, guy finishes, not Stefan's fault. You guys, he, he, he's had a special year. He's a special young man. Uh, he is one of the main reasons that we are here in Toledo. Uh, I've got a lot of respect for him as a young man and an athlete. So for him to come back for what happened in the final five in Minneapolis and St. Paul, I think that says a lot about him and a lot about his future. Scott Gross, KVSC, St. Cloud. Um, Uriah or Tyler, can you guys talk about, you guys really generate a lot of energy on the power play. How difficult <laughs> was it uh, not getting power play shots on today? Was it getting really frustrating with you guys as a team? I mean, yeah, um, obviously they uh, watched a lot of tape, kind of knew what we were looking for. And, uh, you know, like I said, those, those D-man were, were uh, blocking a lot of shots. Um, it just seemed, you know, we were, we were getting looks, but uh, we couldn't get them through. And then, uh, you know, we, we hit a pipe early on uh, on the power play. I think uh, if that one goes in, you know, it changes the game a little bit. So, uh, yeah, just I got to give credit to Miami for, you know, their, their penalty kill tonight. Any additional questions? Uh, Tyler, we talked about this just, you know, I, I know the season's just ending, but can you just talk about, you know, this ride that you guys have been on, you know, over this year, kind of to be at this spot you know, compared to a year ago? 
Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, coming into the year, if you, like we said this yesterday, I think, uh, you know, if we would have asked us if we would have been here, we probably uh, would have had a little doubts in our mind just because of where we finished, you know, last year, the year before that. And uh, it's been a fun ride. I mean, our team came together in early August, and right away we knew we had something special once we uh, figured it out as a group. And, you know, it's led us to, to where we are today. And obviously, it's not, not the ending that we wanted, but uh, Miami's a good team, and got to give them credit for the win today. Okay, uh, thank you guys. The Minnesota State.